Hey guys, this is Eric at Farpoint Farms, and today I'm going to show you how to install your own fan for inside your house. This is a relatively inexpensive Harbor Breeze 52 inch fan, but the installation is pretty much the same no matter what kind of fan you're installing. This one is also a flush mount, that means it mounts directly to the ceiling. But again, this installation is pretty much the same, even if it's a pole mount where it hangs down from the ceiling. There may be one or two extra steps, but nothing you can't figure out on the go. I've taken the liberty to do some of the installation already, which is basically just screwing in these uh, arms to the fan themselves and then unpacking the rest of it, uh, which consists of the bracket that we're going to be putting into our uh, outlet. And then we have our motor assembly here, lighting assembly, and a cover. Over here we have the only tool necessary, one Phillips head screwdriver. We've got a couple of wire end connectors, and I bought a roll of electrical tape. This kit came with the bulbs. So, let me get everything over to the light fixture and we will begin. We're ready to start installing our new fan here. Now first of all you need to make sure that your outlet is powered down. I know mine's powered down because I tripped the fuse and I haven't fried myself by touching the bare wires. Right? So step two is to make sure that the uh, box you have here is actually rated for a fan. If it's not you and you have access to your attic, you can add a box that has supports on either side. This one is already set up for that, so that's not a problem. So our first step to getting our fan installed is to install this bracket. And in order to do that, you want to feed your wires to the center of this box. Like so, until it's up there, and then you have your two long screws that go into your box, and you want to start those Oops. by hand, and then to save time, I have uh, an electric drill. You don't need this, but it sure does save time because you've got a lot of travel on these screws. You want to make sure that's nice and tight. Okay. And then your next step is going to be installing the actual motor assembly. And to do that, you can get my wires off to the side here. This just kind of goes in and hooks behind. In order to install it initially, you have to slide it around. And there it is, hangs perfectly. There's two screws on each side. I happen to have those in my pocket. Just install the screws to hold this mount and bracket in place. And you can do that with a regular Phillips head screwdriver. Like I said, this whole job can be done with a single Phillips head screwdriver and a little bit of electrical tape, which means definitely within your abilities to do so. If you want to pay an electrician to come out and do this for you, you're going to pay between $75 and $150. Which is more than this fan cost. Okay, so that's in there, nice and tight. This job is hooking up the wiring. Now this uh, fan is going to have a lighting kit, so you'll notice on the fan side you have an extra wire. You have your white, a black, a blue, and a green. Your green wire is your ground wire, and I'm going to go ahead and hook that up. On your house side, your ground wire is going to be a bare copper wire. You want to twist those two together. Screw your tab. Okay, it's nicely secured. Once I'm done with attaching all these wires, I'm going to go back and wrap them with electrical tape. It's not required by law in most states, but it's an extra piece of protection. So like I said, this fan has not only the motor, but it also has a light kit, and that's where the extra wire is going to come from. That would be your blue wire. Your blue wire and your black wire are both your hot lines. We're going to twist those together. In order to twist those together, you've got your black wire, and I've got my house wire, and I'm going to twist those into the cap, like so. Twist it until you... It's snug, now I can pull on those wires, everything feels tight. So, I'm going to just lay that next to it, right at the same length. Insert your cap, 
and start screwing that in. You'll know if you've got a good bite. You twist that in, and if I pull on this wire now, it's firmly in there. Okay, so that's that's what it's going to look like. And then, like I said, as an extra little layer of protection, I'm going to go ahead and wrap these with electrical tape, and then we'll tuck that all back up into the upper area of that assembly. Okay, now they're taped up. I'm just going to tuck them back into the upper assembly here. Keep them out of the way. And that's it. Just like that. The next step will be installing the cover and then we'll work on the lower half. So now we've got our bracket mounted, our fan motor assembly mounted, and we're going to install the cover to hide all that. And that just slides up into place here. Like so. And then you take your other two screws and tighten everything down once you get it lined up. And the front one as well, which I can't really get to. place, tighten your screws in, and you can move on to the next step. Okay, now we'll grab the uh, blades and we'll install those. So now it's just a matter of installing the fan blades onto the fan motor assembly. And on some models you'll be able to get right to the screws. This one has a little access port so you can get your screwdriver up there to tighten the two bolts per blade. So let's get started on that right now. Yeah, it might be easier to have a second hand for this, but it's really not that difficult once you get the hang of it. And you'll just move your blade down so your access fits where you need to. And then I would start each screw and then go back and tighten them as you go. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and install the other four and then we'll move on to the next step. Alright, so just finishing up assembling the fan blades. And then I'm just going to go around and double check the tightness of all of them. We don't want one of these coming loose after the unit is fully assembled. Okay, and now the next step will be installing our light fixture. If this was just a fan set up without light, you'd put a cover on it and this job would be done. But for this one, I have a, a light switch, this assembly that's going to go on here. So I'll grab that. Okay, so I've got my fan light assembly. And that just slides up over this. Um, but I have to hook my wiring up for that. And, and on this model, it's just two, uh, those are called can plugs. Could be a multi prong plug, depending if it has a remote or whatnot. And in this case, it's just two wires we're going to hook up the white to the white and the black to the blue, like so. And then you're gonna tuck that in there and get this out of the way. Slide this up in here and you are ready for your last few screws. Again, it might be nice if you had a second hand available for some of this stuff, but it's not necessary. And again, it's better to start all these without tightening any one of them down you can make sure you have everything lined up before you put everything into its final location. Okay, all three are started. I'll just tighten those up. And now we're ready to uh, screw the globes in. Again, some have set screws. These literally screw into this inner socket, which is convenient and quick. 
Okay, once your globes are in, you're ready for your bulbs. This kit actually came with some bulbs as part of the assembly, and I don't have any of these small candelabra base, but eventually we'll be replacing these with LED lights. And that's it. I'm going to go turn the power back on the breaker box, and we'll test the function. If the fan is uh, out of balance, which sometimes they are from the factory, there's uh, weights and shims you can add in order to level things out. I'll be right back. Okay, so here it is. We're maybe 30 minutes in. Um, let's say removing your old fixture, assembling the fan on the ground, and then doing your final installation here. This is less than an hour project. And uh, I've saved myself between $75 and $150 not having to have an electrician come out. And uh, let's make sure everything works. Well, the lights come on. That's beautiful. And then uh, our fan. Yeah. Nice and quiet. Sounds good. So this is Eric at Farpoint Farms. I hope you got some good use out of this video. And if you have any questions, you can uh, ask them in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Take care.